Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just heading to uh, to Duncan. I am going to get an iced coffee. It is going to be, I believe, 82 degrees. And the kids are already at the house. They got here about a half hour ago. So um, they are not allowed water toys at their place. So it's set up at my house, not the pool though, just the um, the big inflatable with the pool and the bounce house type thing. Maybe I'll, I'll try to insert a picture maybe. Um, Cause last year, JR, we needed it, but he got a bigger one. The pool part isn't bigger, but it's longer and um, the bounce house and such. So I told him because of the, um, the motor from last year is still good and that was outside all winter long. I said, why don't we just use this one in case that it goes, then we have that backup, you know, motor. So there's still a brand new motor in the box. Um, before I do get my surgery, I wanna um, set up the, I don't know, it's like a two and a half foot or three foot pool, little round one and uh, I told the uh, Tasha, I said, you know, one night when the girls go to bed, she could maybe drive over with me and Jar would be home and then help me set it up so at night I could fill it, you know, and get it all set up and then it will be done. And it's got the bigger pump and the pool cover and everything. Because once I get that knee surgery, I'm really not gonna be able to bend on it. Not, you know what I mean? Like get on my knees. Cause I get on my knees and I go in the pool and I try to get the bottom as good as possible. So I am feeling somewhat better. Um, my joints are still real, real sore. My muscles aren't as sore as they were, which is a good thing. Um, I think because I've been pushing myself so hard for the last like couple months, making sure that I was getting everything taken care of that I pushed myself too hard. So I think that's why the flare up. Um, and I, I know when a person is, is in pain, you know, you can't see it. You can't see that I'm in pain, but yeah, I'm in pain. So um, next weekend will be the last weekend prior to the surgery. Jarrah's talked about having a cookout and such, so um, we'll see what goes on with that. But I do want to spend as much time as I can um, because after the knee surgery, I will be able to go out and sit outside, but I won't be able to immerse it in water or anything like that. But at least I'll still be able to, um, you know, spend some time with the girls. Uh, that's the most important to me is my family so uh, I got to go to the um, medical shop this week to pick up the the ice machine I think I did put it in my comment or not my comments I think I added it to the video my insurance is gonna cover it I just have a $15 copay which and it's not a rental I'll have it so when I do have my other hip surgery my other knee surgery I will have that, which is great. So hold on one minute. All right, stop for my neighbor. He's doing a little better. Uh, yesterday he actually came out and he sat outside with us for a little bit and talking to him. He was in the Navy, I wanna say for 22 years. So, It just hurt to pick up a bottle of Code Red. Go figure that one. It's only 20 ounces. I think it's just stretching. But now coffee and then time to go home and spend some time with the girls. They were out yesterday. I want to say before 1 o'clock. And they didn't go in the house till after 5. They were exhausted. They were asleep before 7. They... The, Amelia said, no, I want to go night-night. I was like, all right, honey, we'll go there and get you in bed. And it was just so nice. Um, so I'm just going to go to Duncan and get a 
a refresher for Tasha. She likes the strawberry dragon fruit. She said it is phenomenal. And I know Everly loves drinking it too with her. So, and then I'm going to get my iced coffee. I'm debating. I think I'm going to get it with no ice so that way I can get a large and then I can go home and you know what I mean? You just, you do get more. I'm just letting you know. And someone asked in my comments, I think it's Helen. I just approved it about is all these cheaper than Walmart? 100% they are cheaper than Walmart. 100%. And also like Walmart doesn't have like a, a meat department. They just bring it in and the same with all these. They don't have like a they carry meat, but they don't have like a meat department. Let me go ahead and order this. I'm gonna use my app. All right, so I don't know if, with the refreshers for a medium, they're $3.66. But for this whole month, they had the um, the coupon like in the app, so they were $2. So been using that, but that's gonna be up. So we'll see if they put another one in the app where they'll just be $2. Um, I pretty much missed the, I don't know how I missed it, free coffee Monday. I think I did it once, buy one, get one or something. I can't remember, but I only did it once, so that is what it is. I did post a video today. Um, it was when I went to the pre-op appointment just because of the ride and the day before from the ride, um, you know, doing all the running around that I had to do. I think that kind of got my body as well but I'll be fine. And my doctor has always said, when I get that way, don't just lay around because it makes it worse. And I really, I really do find that if I lay around a lot and let it get the best of me, it's worse. It really is. It, it does hurt, you know, to push yourself. But if you can, honestly, with fibromyalgia, if you can push yourself, even a little bit, try to do it. Um, at least that's, I mean, I know we're all different and I get it, but that does help so much with me. So just, you know, and some nice warm baths and just soaking and, you know, like moving your arms, your legs, your joints. Um, it really does help. So if that can help one person, you know, definitely but I am almost home and um, I'm hoping that it's a great day. We have um, Ebony, so all three girls are at the house. They were so good yesterday, so good. So when Tasha said when, they, when she got them home, I went and we did our nighttime prayers and such that Ebony passed out probably an hour after the girls and she slept till 8.30 this morning. So Ebony was exhausted playing with her sisters and you know what I mean, running up and down the thing and sliding on it and they just had a blast. Uh, her bike is also at the house. So later Tasha is gonna take Ebony and Amelia on a little bike ride and then I'll sit and watch Everly and play with Everly. So I get some one-on-one -on -one time with um, her as well. I love having one on one time. I love having them all together, but it's just special when you could just, you know, get, give some dedicated time to each child. So that is about it on my agenda. Um, I do have a bunch of clips that I want to put together of uh, inconsistencies and things that don't add up. And I do want to do that. Uh, my hands are, are feeling a little better, so I should be able to go ahead and edit that. And then maybe once I edit it, I could do a live and we could watch it together if that's what you guys would like. Or do you want me just to post the video? So just let me know in the comments. My comments are still on health for review. I'm going to keep it that way for a little bit because there have been some comments that I wouldn't want any of you to see. So... You know me, guys. I will be back. Ta -ta. Hey, guys. This is day number two. I recorded a little yesterday. And I'm actually enjoying the sun in the weekend with my grandchildren, of course. And uh, I sat in that bouncy house. And I'll tell you what. That water felt nice. It's because it's warm water coming out of the house. 
so it's nice i'm at duncan gonna get a nice iced coffee gonna get a tasha actually wants a culotta a strawberry culotta and go back and enjoy now mind you um it's gonna be nice all week so fingers crossed everything stays nice let me order my coffee I'm I'm you. hi can i please have a large iced coffee with the shots of vanilla with five splenda regular cream so they still have the um two dollar coup i have to get my the front end of my car checked out. It's making a clicking noise and just started. So I need to get that checked out, but it might have to wait till after the surgery or have JR take it on a Friday maybe when he gets out of work. Um, oh, so they still have that $2 off on the um, refreshers, which Tasha loves the strawberry dragon fruit. And They also have the free, you buy one, get one free Monday. So I, tomorrow is the last Monday of May. So I'll definitely make sure I come and get it. I only got it one other time, but that's all right. So I'm going to head home and I'm going to go back out and get in the chair. And then I think I'm going to just get in the bounce house with the girls. Um, they like when I sit there and they bounce me. They think it's funny. But just to see happiness on children's faces it's, it's just one of the best feelings one of the best feelings in the world any human in my eyes you could be in a bad mood or you know you could be in and I'm not saying excruciating pain I'm saying you could be in some pain and if you have gr grandchildren or children or nieces and nephews or you see that smile come upon their face and it just makes everything just kind of for me like I just forget about things like hearing them laugh hearing them chuckle hearing them you know Amelia used to call me Nana now it's how she say it Nanny Nanny no I don't know I can't pronounce it how she does I have to have her say it but it's just the cutest that she came up with it on her own you know um Everly when she woke up this morning Tasha said you want to know what Everly said to me first thing in the morning I'm like well honey she said, outside? Outside. I said, no. She said, yeah. She was in the crib jumping and Tasha walked in the room and she said, outside? Mind you, she is she is a soft-spoken little girl. She doesn't say a lot, but now she's saying outside. So uh, she was telling me too that when JR got home, you know, she said it to daddy. And daddy said, oh, it's too early, Everly, not now. And she cried. And then they FaceTimed me. And uh, Everly's like, outside, Nana? Outside? I'm like, oh, God. So, yeah. I, I did tell you guys, they can't have water toys at their home. So it's at mine. So I was like, come on over. You know what I mean? You don't need an invitation. My family does not need an invitation to come to my home. Day, night, I don't care. That's just me. I have an open door policy for my family. I am even getting a little tan too. And a spray and sunscreen on. I keep my face covered. I keep my hat on. I keep my sunglasses on. And uh, Everly, she's got some pink shoulders. Been doing, um, applying a lot of sunscreen. Um, just like with Emilio when she was younger. And uh, a lot of sunscreen. And then when she gets in, some aloe. Because it's not that it's sunburnt. She's not a sunburn, but it's like kind of pink and you just don't want their skin damaged you know everything we know nowadays compared to what we knew back then things have changed so all right guys i'm home and i'm gonna go enjoy my granddaughters but you guys know me i'll be back and i know those hensons are back so my mouth's gonna run again all right guys talk to you later bye